Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Borderlands 2. And before we get into today's video, I want to say that starting on Monday, I want to bring back Monday Q&A. So for tomorrow's episode, it's going to be going over any and... Well, I, won't, I don't want to say all questions because I may not be able to get to them all. But I want to say, you know, I, I'll try and get as many of them out as I can. But we're going to bring back... Monday Q&A. So if you have any questions you would like me to answer, leave a comment down in the comment. And we're going to do that. All right. Does that sound good? That sounds good. You know, before we actually go on over, think about it now. I kind of want to try and get an infinity. I don't know why I want an infinity. I just want an infinity. So we're actually going to backtrack here and we're going to go get ourselves an infinity. I think we got to go talk to Dr. Ted. Yeah. Somewhere around Dr. Ted. Yeah, that's where we're going to go ahead. And it's just a quick reminder. The 20th is when the streams are going to be coming back online. Although I did some research, apparently... For whatever reason, we can't get back on patch 1.1, so apparently speedruns are currently impossible on the gauge, so I do apologize for that, but we're not going to be seeing any gauge speedruns for the time being. That's a little unfortunate, but whatever. All right. Cause I like I like this anarchist, and I want to get I want to get an infinity, and hopefully hopefully I can have good parts on it. I mean, it shouldn't take that long, right? I don't know why, but this th these dialogues are always really, really quiet. Oh, well. Hey, buddy. What's going on? I keep trying to... <laughs> from swapping from live stream to different videos, I keep trying to use other key bindings for these games. Like, recently I've been playing a bunch of Doom on the live stream, and now I'm just trying to jump, sprint do things that I can like I, I almost I tried to double jump and grab onto that ledge that's not possible also I don't know where I'm going I need to perform surgery first and then give the chunk to him what should we perf you know what I think you know let's, let's perform a surgery with this this should work yeah this right here this should definitely work oh god there we go close enough Is he still good? Pinpoint precision. I don't even. Did that come out of his crotch? Oh God. Oh, he ate it, and I somehow pulled that through his. Ugh. Ugh that's got to be painful. Is that Memorial? That's not Memorial. I never see Michael Memorial anymore. Ever since they made the patch, like I just I do not see him anymore. I want to find him at least one time during this playthrough. For no other reason than I want to see him. He's just so rare now. All right, Tannis. Can't hear the thing. I, guys, I, I can't hear anything that's going on about in this cutscene right now. But it's incredibly quiet, and I, I don't really know why. Like it, it's not. It has nothing to do with. I, it, it's just incredibly quiet, and I don't know why. I'm very sorry. But like some of the bosses, they have like loud cutscenes, and that's nothing I can do. I don't understand that. <laughs> All right. All right. Now let's go get that quest. We should be able to go kill Doc Mercy. Hopefully we can get first try. Eh? Maybe. We do need to... No. We, yeah, we need to finish the quest. But he should respawn because we turn it in at him, actually. So he should respawn instantly. Murder mist Or medical mystery. There we go. I've been seeing some confusing wounds. All right, let's head on over there. We're definitely going to be doing a lot of farming for certain gear things that I want to have. Like, I kind of want a cat mod. I'm going to be honest here. I really do want to have a cat mod. But the trickster is also really nice just because of the rate of fire increase. If we're going to get an infinity, you know, that's very good. Are there any good shields in here? Quite a few, actually. Uh, yeah, I think we'll take that one there. There we go. Uh, we don't need that anymore. We don't need any of these. We can sell our old shield. I Actually, I think that sniper rifle might have been better than what we were using. Oh, well. 
a little bit of a better shield there. We're definitely, uh, no, we don't need Flame of the Firehawk. It's not very good as Maya, especially since we're going to be specking into certain gear that gives us our uh, our shield back or stuff like that. So we don't really want that. Might We might mix up the builds later on, though. I should go kill Savagely at least one time. I feel like. Huh? Nah. Nah, we'll, ju we'll just settle for the infinity here. That way I've got something to fall back on whenever <laughs> whenever we run out of pistol ammo, if ever. Okay. Come here, Doc Mercy. Oh, poor, <laughs> poor, poor Skag. Oh, he's... I still got part of his head. Oh, that's terrible. I still got part of his head on the bumper. <laughs> All right. Do we want to use Lisko or... Yeah, we'll use the Lisko. There's nothing better than the Lisko right now. Which makes me second guess why I even want this Infinity. But I need it. This Infinity is going to be level, like, 8. And I'm level 12. The area I'm going to. Um. Excuse me? Alright. Um. Uh, Alright. That was interesting. I don't know what I phase locked him into. But sure. Well. No. No first try. Unfortunately. But. That's what the second run's going to end up being for. And I swear, if you take as long for Savage Lee, I'm going to hate you, okay? I could do the other quest, but I feel like it's not that it's not that long of a run. Like, it's just up to here. Yeah, it's just up to here. It shouldn't be that bad. Assuming my phase lock actually works, we should be fine. Hey, buddy. Does he respawn? Or does he not respond until after medical mystery? We're about to find out. Yeah, you're still up. Okay, cool. There we go. We're going to wait for him to jump down. And then we'll kill him. So I've noticed like... Uh, no, 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 no. I notice like sometimes if you kill them while they're phase locked, their loot just like shoots into the sky for some reason. I'm not entirely sure. That never ended up getting fixed, but eh, whatever. I'm trying to think of like what skills. I'm really wondering like in the next game, should all the characters have their their same action skill? Or should we put a little bit of a different spin on it? I mean, if we're going to be bringing everything back, we don't want the game to feel too samey. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to feel like I'm playing Borderlands 2 when the next game comes out. So I'm kind of feeling like almost, I would rather have all the characters have different action skills rather than what they currently have now. Am I alone in that? Let me know. Like, how exactly would we change the action skills of the current characters, assuming we brought them all back? To somehow still recognize that this is Maya, but not, you know, it's not feeling like we're, we're just playing Borderlands 3 with all of the same characters. You know what I mean by that? I hope that makes sense. I feel like that makes sense. You know? I don't, I don't want, I don't want Salvador's dual wield again. There's got to be something else that we can potentially do. Uh, eh, I guess we should pick it up to sell. I could always use the more cash. But I don't really know how to change up most of the characters that are in the game. I mean, Krieg needs his buzz axe. Let's be honest here. Zero kind of needs his deception, but I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm thinking a bit too much into this. Maybe Borderlands 3 is actually just going to have all the other, or, you know, just going to have brand new characters. But if we were to bring back the old ones, I don't know. I I want to change them. 
But then there's always the saying, you know, don't change something that's not broken. So what do you guys think? Let's say, let's, let's assume that all the characters came back. Like every Vault Hunter came back. Should the, should the action skills end up being changed or should we just keep it pretty much exactly the same? And just, you know, play the Borderlands as is. Because that's one of the faults that TPS had. TPS felt like Borderlands 2. Point five. You know, that's pretty much what the game felt like. Everything was pretty much the same, unchanged, but with like a different story. And I know this whole, it's not a giant DLC. And I still stand by the fact that I, I still stand by the fact that I don't consider, you know, TPS to be a giant DLC because it's not, it's its own game. It's heavily copied, but it's it's not a giant DLC, but I don't want to have another TPS, you know. We need a lot. We need a lot of new. We need a lot of that new stuff into the next game, or it's going to end up burning out really fast. But at the same time, you can't have, too, you can't be too diverse. It's really weird. Like, Battleborn, I almost feel like one of its selling points is also one of its downfalls, you know. You have the game that, like, it promotes, oh, look at all these different characters, er, but there's not enough time spent into each character because you've got so much and you can't really focus on any of them. You get that, you get my drift here. I almost feel like it would have been better had they gone with, like, 20-ish, maybe even 15-ish characters and kind of merge some things together, you know? Is that a quad? Nope, that's a torpedo. Dang, that was that almost looked like a quad. And I was going to be really excited. Yeah, I'm starting to feel like Battleborn, one of its downfalls is its strength. is just that it's too diverse between all of its characters. And you're spreading yourself a little too thin. You can't really invest yourself as much into each of these characters because they don't really build up as much. Whereas in Borderlands 2, you know, you could... You could build them up pretty you could create whole different builds around each unique character but with battleborn it's just kind of like and eh, you've got a, you've got a couple of options here and there but for the most part this is what that character does and that's pretty much it you can change them up a little bit you can change them up just a tiny little bit but not too much i don't know maybe i'm alone in that thought I'd like to know your opinions. Like this, 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 is, this series is basically just becoming a talk show the more and more we get into it. Actually, I think it kind of started off like that. Just kind of like a rambly talk show, which I'm okay with. I'm, I'm honestly okay with that. If you have any topics you would like me to touch on, please let me know. Because, I mean, sometimes some topics I just don't think about at the time. And I just kind of like this one. I was just going to like mention the Q&A at the beginning and then just kind of, you know, shoot the shit really and then I just started thinking about it. And that's just kind of how that's kind of how my these episodes kind of flow. I just go from like, "Oh, border, you know? You know what? You know what? That's nice from changes." So it kind of ends up flowing like that, man. And I know people said they want to see the farming, so I don't know. Might as well, right? <laughs> Might as well, right? How many kills have we done? Like six, I want to say. We've done quite a few. And we know farming is going to be back in. I mean, what kind of game is Borderlands without its farming? But yeah, that's that's kind of the topic that I want to I want to hear some feedback on today. Besides the obvious Q and A question, assuming you stopped like five minutes in, was uh. Should we make should we make Borderlands 3? Should they have like different abilities and stuff or should it, should it just kind of stay? You know? Uh-oh. Cool. Did I get anything? No. I really should put on colorblind mode. Hold on. Video gameplay? I think it's no. Video? No. 
Hmm. Audio? No. Was it in gameplay? I'm looking for colorblind mode. I don't know where it's at. Oh, well. I was going to put on colorblind mode so that way the money would turn into green money and I wouldn't have to worry about it. I think my game's up to date. Should be. Yeah. My game should be up to date. Oh, well. That's fine. I want to get this infinity. If nothing else, I want to get this infinity. This is going to be a long playthrough. I just realized. If we're going all the way to TVHM and I keep farming every single legendary, we are never going to finish. <laughs> we are never going to finish this playthrough. Not anytime soon at all. Well, it's been nice knowing you all. I'll see you sometime in, uh, you know, Borderlands 3 might be out by the time this playthrough ends up being finished at this point. Yeah, that's fine with by me. You know, I, I go a full year. I think of it this way. I went a full year without uploading any Borderlands. I'm just, I'm, I'm at, I'm keeping up with my quota now. That good old quota. I feel like this is what I should have done. You know, looking back at it, this is kind of like what I should have done when I left Borderlands originally is maybe maybe we should just have like one of these series where we just kind of you know shoot the shit every now and then rather than just kind of straight up leaving it for a year that probably would have been a better move oh well <laughs> whatever happens happened all right mercy i'm kind of tired of farming you so if you could just drop the infinity well i hit level 13 I guess that's cool. It really wants me to finish this mission. I guess I should at least equip the, uh, oh God, the greasy blaster. Ugh. All right. I guess I'll at least equip that and kill some psychos as we're, you know, moving along here. All right. It's bound to drop eventually. Maybe. I sometimes wonder, like, are the, are the drop rates really buffed or am I just, I don't know. 9% chance, you know, it, it, you would think it'd be a little bit more common because we didn't get it from Savage Lee. We didn't get it from, oh, hi. Yeah, we got it from Savage Lee. We got it from, uh, we're not getting it from this guy, yada, yada, yada. Makes me, makes me a little sad here that we're not getting all of our stuff. And I need to stop phase locking the badass because now I'm in a position where I can't phase lock this guy, so we're gonna wait. There we go, for our phase lock to come up. Oh, what do you like? Oh! That's not too bad. Yeah. It's not too terrible bad, I like that. Yeah, I like it. That's not that bad of an infinity. Let's see what we got. Uh, Doll Grip, unfortunately. Looks like Jacob's Sight Unending Infinity, which means... Forget what prefix unending is. Did I get mag size? Did I seriously get mag size increase on an infinity? Are you kidding me? Is that even possible? I forget unending. Unending. I'm totally not tabbing out and looking at Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2 prefixes real quick because I want to confirm. I want to confirm real quick that we actually got, let's see, uh, pistol prefixes. Flat off. Wait. Pistol prefixes. Flat off. Unending. Yep, we got mag size increase. God! Could have given me literally anything else. Anything! <laughs> well, at least my magazine size has increased. Whoop-de-flippin'-do, man. Alright. Well, 
In the next episode, I think we'll go ahead and grab ourselves a car and go through Bloodshot, probably in its entirety. You know, we'll uh, save Rolando and all that stuff and actually make some progress here. But hey, we got an infinity. We talked about some stuff. I want to thank you all for watching. If you've enjoyed this series, do me a favor. Hit the like button. It really does, you know, help me out quite a bit. And if you enjoy Borderlands and want to see more content on it, hit the subscribe button. I'd recommend that. These videos go live every day-ish at around, uh, what's, what's the horn? Shit. Horn. Fuck. <laughs> what's the horn button? What is the horn button? Fuck. Hold up. Fuck. There it got found it. It's left alt. Got it. Figured it out. But if you like these videos, do me a favor, go ahead and hit the like button and all that good stuff. And I will see you all in the next one, everybody. Later. Yeah.